Hi, and we're back at the digital job site working on the second part of using the photo match feature of SketchUp to uh, build and present models, ideas, and designs. In the first video, we imported this photo and set up the axes in the photo to uh, orient with the space we're working with. And uh, where we're headed with this is to create this room in uh, digital format as well as a photographic format and then we'll create a digital model just a simple one and, and superimpose it into this picture so the potential client can see what the room looks like without this fireplace and wood box doors uh, say with a simple bookcase in here so uh, the next step that I like to do is to get 3D model geometry built into this photograph and to do that, I'm just going to select the measure tool and we're going to go parallel to this red axis. I'm just going to pull this up to the approximate ceiling height here. And you can see there's some between the uh, anything out of level in the room and uh, parallax and whatever else is going on. This perfectly straight digital line doesn't line up with the corner of the real world room. And that's okay for this purpose. Our model can be accurate and superimpose in here well enough to um, present our ideas. So all I've done is I've um, drugged that up near the top of the room uh, because I measured in the room itself, I measured this corner. So I'm just going to come down here and then zoom in and get down to the top of this baseboard. You can see there again there's some discrepancies in the straight line and the, the real world of the floor there. So we have two parallel lines. Now we're going to pull a, a, a vertical measuring line over here. And what I want to do is make sure that I'm pulling in the red axis shown by this red line. And we'll just zoom in and get up into the corner of this room. So we're drawing a digitally perfect line in this room and that's pre that's pretty close on the base and we can take we can take that and then we're just going to pull one over to the other side of this room again in the red axis I don't want to let it snap off to, s to an uncolored uh, direction because who knows that where the line will be then you can see this is saying this is 120 inches and, and some fractions because SketchUp just guesses a scale to start off with, but we're going to make it behave here. Um, and as I put in the dialog on uh, the finehomebuilding.com digital job site blog, if you, when you go to take the photograph, you're going to build a model into, you want to include enough lines of the real space so you can line these axes and then take a few site measurements that are accurate. And so what I did was I measured from the top of this baseboard to the top to the room there. I drew a line there, and I know what that measures. So now I'm going to measure the line. Let's see if I did this set up right. Yes. So I, I drew the line uh, that I know is going to be 91 inches long. SketchUp thought it was something else. So I told it that line's 91 inches because that's what it is. This dialog pops up and says, do you want to resize the model, which of course we do at this point, so we'll say enter. And now these lines are 91 inches apart, which is how it measures on the site. And I also know the room measurement from one side to the other, from this side to this side, was 182 in real life and SketchUp says it's 183 and 364 so that's some of that parallax business going on and we could if we wanted that line to be the benchmark for this drawing we can just draw that across measure it and it's going to say 183 and whatever we can go 182 enter and it's going to say do you want to resize the model we say yes and so we've overridden this 91 inch line so now when we measure that it's going to be a different dimension um, so it's kind of up to you in your model which type of uh, or which line or which dimension you want to hold true and I'm going to stick with that that vertical measurement 
uh, for the accurate one. And um, so I've got that part taken care of. I'm just going to draw a rectangle that covers that side. You can see how it's now gotten foggy. So that gives us a rectangle that matches up to the wall of the room. And let's see, I know that this baseboard is four inches tall, so I'm just going to select that bottom line, hold down the shift key and move this down four inches. And then, um, let's see, let's just connect this, zoom out, connect that. Now we have another rectangle. I want to end up with the wall. I don't want that baseboard on there. So now I've just got a wall represents that in a room. Oops. And I, as soon as you rotate or pivot out of that photo match mode, you can see that the photograph disappears. So then just click back on this, the name of your picture and it brings it back in to view. So I'm going to select the push pull tool and pull this out. And I happen to know that wall is 30 and a half inches. So I'll type in 30.5. And then if you rotate out, you can see there's a box that's the size of the room, 30 and a half inches deep. I'm just going to delete the face out of it. And reverse all these faces. So this looks just like a, an empty box, but when we clip, click the photograph, here the box comes back into view and you can see how it's superimposed over the space in the room. So that's the next steps to, to get from um, the interface between the photograph and an actual 3D SketchUp model. So I'll stop the video here and then we'll come back and fill in a few details in this so you can see how, how a model fits in and, and what it looks like once it's placed there.